está dando de Okay, this is Much Matters Part 2. So I decided, well, hey. Um, I really, 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 really needs to speak about, uh, you know, so, something else that, in regard, that, that uh, correlates with this here also. Um, it's a petition that's going around. Um, it, it doesn't matter where it is, I'm sure, because anywhere that it's going around is it, a matter. And if it's not just in your region or whatever like that or wherever I came in route of that is sure to be coming into your area. And it's a matter everywhere with seniors being disabled. And I speak about on the escape part. One of the escape videos I, I speak about definitely. And I, on other videos also where I talk about. You know, once you get into these low-income senior housings and seniors mm. not having homes and being able to really engage with their family and so forth like that. So definitely go back to those videos. I'm going to do my best to try to put all those videos together, but then I would have a lot of videos to put under here. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to look for it, but I know it was a while back. I talk about one of them and then put the escape. I don't even know which escape one I talk about it. I don't know, but I'm just going to put the uh, hashtag Celebes, C-E-L-E-B-E-S, capital E-S-T uh, website. I'm going to put that, and I'm also going to encourage you all to reach hashtag for the right book, because if you're watching these videos, you just will, you know, continue on into the mystery composition that I am a contributor and supporter of. So, oh gosh, so this old petition here. It is beyond stupid when you have to get there and have a petition in regards to seniors being able to stay in the community or in their homes because they are ill. Now, what time frame they do this here is debative and, you know, sometimes property managers or home associations sometimes can take them to court to rush them on out and re-rent their home or force them to sell their houses and reverse mortgages, all kinds of stuff like this. There's so much that go on. That's why you don't have room to be dumb and do watch my video about want to be dumb. So, uh... Seniors should be able to stay in their homes, okay? You all don't have enough care. And they can't say it's not no money because, you know, my own experience, there's disability services. The money not being used, so how you ain't got no money? If the money not being used for a year, it may be used for a few months, and then a whole year it ain't getting used, how you ain't got no money? When it's just not thyself, or just a few of us, it's a surplus of us. Um, no one, you divide the family up. You can't even visit somebody when you got some old neighborhood, over the limit neighborhood stalker. Oh, well, they come there pretty often. You know, the children be there. You know, the children got to leave at 9 o'clock. They worry about who stay in the house with the grandma. Elderly need help, so... You know, grandchildren and great nieces and nephews mm -hmm. should be at the home when they get off from school, staying out of trouble, doing their homework, help keeping the house clean, fix dinner. And when their parents come home and stuff like that, or if their parents have to work overnight, get there and be a, a watch and stuff like that because you all don't want to pay the $10, $12 an hour uh, or people don't want to work for that ten, twelve dollars an hour that you want to pay. These folks want twenty, okay? They want twenty an hour, and then you get all up in their business. Like, don't nobody want to get there with the little finicky, uh, you know, keeping the, the which we call them the lose day benefits or whatever like that, unless it's like you know a steady forty plus hours or whatever like that. With some benefits and stuff like that. So it's a very high turnover rate. So people just usually just get there and work in nursing homes. or They don't even stay, still stay at their jobs too long unless it has a good benefit package for them. 
Um, so they need to just stop really breaking up the family homes. You shouldn't even have to be signing no petitions. And some of these petitions, besides, they are beyond stupid. Um, because it's like, this is common sense. You shouldn't be having to debate that. And then you have to put all your personal information you know, your signature and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you go, first of all, it'd be one thing if it's a uh, petition where nobody is watching it. It's at a bus stop and then somebody got lifted up. Then, yeah, then I understand it. But if you got people that are hired or is a selected person that designate themselves over it and stuff like that. And, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? It, you, you should just be able to just check yes or put one sticker for yes, one for no, and be like, hey, look, just responsibly get the talent right. And then anyway, with surveys, you have an error or whatever, mm -hmm. point three or point five anyway, so everybody ain't going to be double voting, and you know how many estimate people in, in the area. So just make it more simple. I just want to check a box off yes or just simply sign a name. I don't want to get all up into this here. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? With the, uh, you know, they want to know the, 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 you know what I'm saying? What, where you exactly vote at and stuff like that. Well, goddamn, whether you're a citizen or not, you're in the area, you're going to be affected. You're going to get old. So what if you get there and you become a citizen in 10, 20 years, you need this stuff prepared now. Like, you, you should be able to, just because you're in the area, you should be able to have something to to uh, to uh voice on the area. It shouldn't be all this about you extra registered voter. And even though they should encourage you and speak like, hey, you are, you know what I'm saying, you speaking on this here, we would really like if you sign this petition for you to really be a, a, a registered voter. But you shouldn't have to get there and give all your information and, oh, well, we're going to turn into City Hall. They just got too much God darn information, your zip code and all that crap and your signature and stuff. They're like, you filling out for a fucking bank account and shit like that. Oh, gosh, they just got darn sick. You just be like, look, can I just get there and send a God darn text message if you're going to get there and be collected? Like, no, you can, you uh, like, I, I know. I don't know you, 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 you collecting it. I don't know the clerk that you giving it to and the clerk going to get there and have a whole other team of people with all this personal information and stuff like that people you know what i'm saying it's just common sense stuff that you just should not and it's just to the point that if continues and it's something that i have uh spoken and voted on five seven years ago and i'm still having to vote on it and stuff like that it's like god it's like fighting to get out of goddamn slavery or to prevent slavery oh gosh i just got on ridiculous but much matters mondays um, I'm going to put the hashtag to Levis website where I talk about the issue in the previous video on here where I speak very much about, you know, definitely the disenfranchisement that it caused between the family. And they love to get there and ask these old crazy ass questions, these old case managers. Um, well, why is such and such not available and stuff like that? Well, what that got darn matter when I wasn't better qualified for these services and stuff like that. It, 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 if they even put on your uh in your records and stuff like that. And what does it matter? And really, if they really somebody be talking about, I wouldn't need your goddamn gone service anyway. You gotta be asking me all these goddamn questions and stuff like that. And they just ridiculous. See, that's why you gotta be taking care of your health. And yeah, also talking about somebody getting there, they up in headlines, they up there, they better take care, you know. I don't know, maybe they got uh I know they dead. And their mom got, uh, you know, li li lifelong ben health benefits and stuff like that once you president and stuff like that. I don't know how it go for the children or the heirs or whatever like that. I don't know how that go, but who? Hearing this stuff here, I'm going to encourage you to protect, be loyal to your loans and your helper, okay? Uh, that's what I'm encouraging you of. It's just like, you know, and if you had real friends, they'll be like, hey, look, this is not healthy for us. And stop talking about, you know, you need to take care of yourself when you young, because when you old, life don't really forgive. Like, you need to stop while you young for life to forgive you more. You know what I'm saying? I had a, a aunt, she was, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never thought it gonna happen. Never thought it would have happened to her. I'm telling you when it did. I'm telling you, she, oh gosh, it, it happened. So, take care of your health. 
And um, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it just crazy these old petitions that they just 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 unnecessary. You know, that's just like you having to sign a petition for clean water. Kinda since you should want people to brush their teeth and take a bath of clean water. Cause I don't like when nobody be smelling like the bad water. And I even been having some black uh tar coming out in the water and stuff when um when the water be running and stuff like that. And I be like, oh God, I gotta start the water all over again. You gotta get that add extra substances and spend money on it. And they don't give you no deduction. On none of these nosy ass services and stuff like that. Oh gosh, you gotta always go to court about everything. Like you shouldn't have to sign a petition about seniors staying in their home, <clears throat> disabled getting their services. They gotta know every god darn thing. No, I'm not telling you everything about my life. Like you be asking stuff, I ain't got no goddamn. Like you, you just ask me why I'm poor. You like, like you asking me why my great grandpa. Is goddamn it, goddamn it. You let me know, and let me know if there's a fucking inheritance. Cause if you can't help fucking get that, you need not fucking ask about them. If you can't help get that, you have no purpose of asking about them. Clean water and stuff like that. People need their dinner care taken care of and their eyes washed clear. But because you fool around there with your dirty water and stuff like that, and they be up in somebody out and they fool around there and crash into you or one of your loved ones, you gonna wish the water was clean for them to wash their eyes out clean and see clear. I can see clearer now that the dirt is out the water. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, don't dirty the water because you're going to be dirty yourself and it won't be their fault even though insurance will go up. But, hey, you're going to learn your lesson. You're going to learn today. TTYL, much matters Monday. But, hey, I want to stay off the road and, like, hey, may all have clear vision that come in engagement with thee and thy with thee. You know what I'm saying? And I just die, my loved ones, too. So, um, those of you that think, you know, want to be mediocre, blessed and highly favored, not to fight for clean water, fight for seniors to be taken care of, and people love to ask these dumb questions. Well, you ain't got nobody, you ain't got no elder person to get there. Well, God damn it, they got to leave at 9 o'clock if they do got an elder person at the community place that can watch them. Well, God damn it, I need to go to the hospital. Don't ask me those stupid fucking ass questions. You and it is just stupid. If you wouldn't ask stupid questions, you wouldn't have to get cussed out. But since you don't understand simple language and you be acting like you know what I'm saying, like you know what I'm saying, your ears are legally uh bind up and handicapped. Well, guess what? We gonna gotta, gotta do an extra form of Scorpio communication with you. T T Y L. <laughs>